her down and help me. that I don't even know about. <laughs> like homo Slavia's out there. Oh, man. <laughs> Such a pretty place. <laughs> There's a prop guy going, it's a rebel, get him away from that. <laughs> Very sexy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like Shaft's house. <laughs> See, what else can I babble about? During the riots, I, I, the National Guard came and they didn't go to work. Remember that? For a day and a half, the National Guard was here and they didn't go to work. Why? Do you know why? Do you remember why? Yeah, 
got no bullets. They forgot their bullets, you know? <laughs> I found it really hard to believe that that was the same Cracker Jack unit that Dan Quayle once belonged to. <laughs> So we got our penis back, we won a war, right? We dropped a trillion dollars worth of bombs on a country about the size of Rhode Island, and we won. I don't want to take anything away from anyone who served over there, but you know, you probably could have sent me over in a Volkswagen with some crack. <laughs> and done about the same amount of damage. <laughs> We sent weapons, we sold them weapons, and then we went to war with them. I'm glad we didn't have a ground war. <laughs> Simply for the fact that there would have been our soldiers running around the desert going, Ugh! which tank did I just get out of? <laughs> Apparently, there's some kind of unwritten law. If your hometown team wins, you can commit any crime you want for the next day and a half. I was in San Francisco after the 49ers had won some kind of sporting thing, and um, I'm tolling around in my Honda Civic, no way, excellent car. That's not a commercial endorsement. <laughs> but I was driving away in a Honda Civic, and um, this Neanderthal jumps out from behind a tree with a lit flare, and he throws it, and he hits my car. And I, and I, I go, what the hell's your problem? And he goes, Niners, <laughs> I go, I'm sorry. Here's your flare back. See if you can't hit that old woman driving the pinot. <laughs> Thank you.